Are you kidding me right now, Nickelodeon or Nick Jr.? Really? Like if Dora the Explorer wasn't bad enough, Dora has another show called Dora and Friends Into the City that came out 14 years after the original show Dora the Explorer. Just no. Just fucking no way. What's up guys, it's your boy Jonathan's Media Shack here again and today here is my review slash rant on Door and Friends Into the City. Came in the year of 2014, the same year that I graduated from high school. So basically what the plot's about, you got Door who is now a 10 year old girl attends school and lives in the city of Playa Verde, California. And she has five friends named Kate that loves art, Emma that loves music, Alana that loves sports and animals, Naya who is a smart who is very smart and loves to read, and Pablo who loves playing soccer. Together, Dora and her friends work together and go on adventures while discovering the secrets of their city. Dora has a magical charm bracelet that helps her get through objects in a way and a smartphone complete with an app version of the previous series map to aid her. The characters are all bilingual and they speak Spanish in addition to English as well and yeah that's basically what what the plot's about guys what do i have to say about this show why am well in my opinion i hate it okay yes guys in my personal opinion i think this is one of the worst shows that nick jr had ever made along with the original door the explorer and it's, it is a sequel to the original Dora the Explorer series, which was bad enough in my opinion. Yeah, in my opinion, I thought Dora the Explorer was bad enough. And this one was just as equally as bad. <sighs> now let's talk about the characters. Dora Marquez is an explorer girl that lives in the rainforest. Who's now 10 years old and now moves here in the big city in Playa Verde. Naya, who is friends of Dora, and she knows all about the history of Playa Verde. And also knows about pyramids and booby traps and says there is always a way out. We got Alana, who is a friend of Dora and she's good at soccer and also loves animals. Emma, who is friends of Dora, she, and she makes music and she sings songs. Kate is a friend of Dora's and she does art and she's an artist and a performer. And she loves to draw pictures and tell stories and perform in stage shows. Excuse me. And Pablo, who's a friend of Dora's, he loves playing sports and also loves soccer and he's a soccer player with Dora and Alana and he is the only boy in Dora's gang and yeah we there's map app which is Dora's map app on Dora's smartphone and he tells Dora and her friends which way they have to go and 
watch out for booby traps. Mr. Marquez, who is, of course, Dor, Guelmo, and Isabel. Mr. Marquez is Dor and Guelmo and Isabella's father. Miss Marquez is Dor, Guelmo, and Isabella's mother, and Abuela's daughter. Guelmo Marquez, Dor's little brother, and Isabella's twin brother. Isabella is Dor's little sister. Abuela is Dor's grandma. Well, and of course, Boots appears as well. And he's a, a monkey and Dor's friend in the rainforest. Of course, we get some old cast characters as well from this one as well. And what can I say? In my opinion, nobody is likable in this show. I... No one is... No one is likable. Like, all of them are just unlikable people. Like, they're bland. They're uninteresting to me. And they have really tasteless personalities I've ever seen. Like, wow. Like, they do lots of random shit. And it tries to teach kids um, some Spanish as well. Just like the original did as well. Which, that's, 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 uh, that's understandable, but come on. Like if Dora the Explorer wasn't bad enough, we get a sequel of this piece of shit show, Dora and Friends Into the City. <laughs> the worst part about this show is, it, 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 it came out the same year that I graduated from high school. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, gradu I graduated from high school, like, almost eight years ago and that's when this show came out almost eight years and the animation I could tell is really really ugh it's just it looks terrible in my opinion it looks absolutely terrible like like the directors for this show could have could have done much better animation than this Come on, this animation is terrible. They should have done a much better job with the animation, to tell you the truth. And the theme song is just, uh, it's, it's awful. <sighs> Nick Jr., I really don't know what the hell you were thinking when you thought making another show of my, my most hated show of all time. You decide to do this? No, this is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. Even the episodes are are really repetitive. Like sometimes they do the same bullshit over and over and over again, and it gets so irritating as fuck. And the and boots and the. Uh, old characters from that show that appeared don't even get me started on those characters like if they weren't annoying enough they had to appear in this one I understand I understand guys it's a kids cartoon but and yes I understand that that old some of the old characters can appear but really You got to be fucking kidding me, Nick Jr. And five years after the show, it got its own movie called Door and the Lost City of Gold, which that movie was also bad, bad enough. And Door herself is also equally annoying herself like she was in the original show, in my opinion. I have no idea what they were thinking when they thought that it was a good idea to uh, do a sequel of Dory Explorer. 
when I was at, it was actually the worst mistake they have ever done. And the voice actors and really I understand it. I understand guys, but I feel so terrible for them. I feel like I really feel terrible for the voice actors and actresses that had to voice in this in this god awful show. Like they could have done they could have voiced a much in they could have been at, at least in a much better show than this. Oh my god. I understand it tries to teach kids some educational stuff as well. But in my opinion, I think I think I think it just comes out as a huge and total It's it's just an absolute embarrassment. Even though it does try to teach kids some educational stuff which educational stuff is really good for like kids but still this show just comes out as a huge total embarrassment like it tries so hard to be an educational like a really like really educational for kids but it really comes out as a huge embarrassment and the animation it looks absolutely tawdry and and I feel so terrible for the voice actors and actresses like I understand it was their choice, but come on. Could have at least been in better shows than that. And the episodes are repetitive. The characters are annoying. Especially with the returned characters. They were equally as annoying as well. The theme song is bland and ugh, just awful. Just everything I could say about... This show is just absolutely awful. And it's a really awful sequel to the original Door the Explorer series. Which the original one was bad enough. <sighs> but if you like the show, that's totally understand. I, I can handle your opinion on Door and Friends into the city. That's truly understandable if you like it. Go ahead if you like it. I... <clears throat> okay, that's your opinion. And I have the rights to mine. To me, I just hate it. And this is this is one of the worst shows ever from 2014, and also one of the worst shows from 2010s. And I will prefer cartoons that I like, such as The Flintstones, Disney's House of Mouse, Betty Boop, The Super Mario Brothers, Mario Show. Um, Sabrina the Animated Series, and other shows that I like. This one, however, is a huge embarrassment, and it's really boring as well. Not to mention the jokes are so boring, and so are the episodes too. Like, they make jokes that are just boring, and all the stuff they do is absolutely boring. This is just a boring, cliché and uh it's it's a uh, it's it's just disgraceful this is such a huge disgrace even for nick junior itself it's such a huge disgrace and it's no wonder why nick junior had made so many shitty shows throughout the years except for blues clues and you so yeah Blue's Clues and You was the only decent Nick Jr. show they've made. The rest are just garbage. Just like this. And I have to say it's awful. So for my final rating, I'm going to give it a... 1 out of 7. Terrible. Anyways, sorry if you can't see it. Oh, there you go. Anyways, this is, this is me signing off and I'll see you guys later.